We talked last week about the secret of the cherubs. Right, the secret of the cherubs, which are the two cherubs above the ark in Jerusalem, which are sexually intertwisted. It's the ark of the covenant. Remember Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark back at the end of the 20th century. The ark of the covenant. So above the ark of the covenant are these two sexually intertwisted cherubs, which is the image of God as Eros. That God is sexuality, but it's sexuality not just in sex, but in every moment of reality. So I want to just share with you a really gorgeous sacred text. And the text reads, I will speak to you, meaning the voice of spirit, the voice of essence, speaks from between the cherubs. And the key word is between, bain, between. The voice of spirit speaks from the empty space between the cherubs. And the word bain, between, the empty space between, in Hebrew has two meanings. It means between. And it also means Bina, which means the full wisdom. And Bina is also the name of the goddess. Right? The goddess, Bina, wisdom, emerges from that empty space. Because the life is what you do with that hit of emptiness. Take it to personality sexing. It's great. It won't fill you. It won't give you genuine eros. Make it come awake alive and actually do Annie's practice right, of of kind of staying with the feeling. Do the second practice of staying in, in the hole. Or engage in sexual theater that we're going to talk about more next week. Take the anger and bring it into sexing. Take the loneliness and bring it into sexing. Take, as Annie described, the despair and bring it into sexing. You can actually act out the feeling in sexuality and use sex as a form of theater that we'll talk about next week. But when the emptiness goes unconscious, and you move to cover up the emptiness where the head of pseudo-eros, then the sex isn't satisfying, and you're not accessing the eros you need to sustain right, the gorgeousness of your life.